To first start grabbing an AED, you just pull open the door. Oftentimes there will be a loud alarm associated with it. Turn the device on. It's going to talk to you in a loud voice and it's going to tell you what to do. Unit OK. Adult pads. Remove pad package. And it will tell you where to place the pads. Take the pads out of the packaging. You'll see displayed where to place each pad. Undo the back of the pad. Attach pads to patient's bare chest. I'm placing this pad in the right upper hand side of the chest with the centerpiece over the breastbone. Then with that in place, I take the other pad, take the sticky off, and again, following the diagram, this is then going to fold over onto the lower left hand side of the chest. If the device tells you that a shock needs to occur, have everyone stay clear of the patient, don't touch the patient, and press the shock button on the device. When you press that button, it will deliver a shock. When it is analyzing the rhythm, you would hear something like this. Stay clear of patient. Analyzing. Shock advised. Stay clear of patient. Deliver shock now. So in this case, then you would press the button to press deliver the, the shock, making sure that now. no one is touching the patient, and then that way you stay clear of getting shocked yourself. Shock delivered. You press the device. Begin CPR. It delivers the shock, and then again afterwards, if you know CPR, you can go back to doing CPR. This device provides the area where you should be doing CPR. This little circle with the diagram Start CPR. is where you can uh, do CPR. So on this patient, push harder, push harder, good compressions. This AED gives you feedback on your compressions to make sure you're doing it at a correct rate and a correct depth, which can be very helpful. And for this one, you would essentially follow the same steps as you would for the adult. You can use adult pads in a pinch if you need to by placing one side on the front of the chest and then the second pad on the rear of the chest. So that lights up if you have a pediatric pad. If you have access to pediatric pads and it's a pediatric patient, try to use those pads though, because when you plug the, those pads into the device, it tells the device that this is a child, and so it will change the amount of electrical shock that's delivered. Just use the adult if that's all you have access to. The device will determine an initial rhythm, and if it believes that a shock is needed, then it will tell you to give a shock. If the initial underlying rhythm does not need a shock, then the device will tell you to start CPR. There are a couple different ways to perform CPR in a child. We're going to be doing a two finger push into the chest like this. Another method is to grab the child around and use your thumbs. If you know how to perform pediatric CPR, then go ahead and do that. You'll do it for two minutes. The AED will tell you when to stop doing CPR and get your hands off the chest so that it can analyze the underlying rhythm. If, there, if a shock is advised, the AED will tell you to do it and you'll deliver the shock by pressing the button as we went over. And then just like uh, with the adults, after you deliver the shock and you know how to do CPR, then go ahead and continue to do CPR for the next two minutes.